Bond. Welcome to my June favorites. I hope you guys all enjoyed your Juneteenth. I was really excited to see all of the enthusiasm this year with everyone participating in Juneteenth activities. There was a lot of stuff going on in Chicago. I wish I could have participated in more, but we are still um, social distancing pretty seriously here in my household. So we weren't able to participate in anything, but we had fun just here at the house with each other. So here we are at the end of June. It came around so fast. I feel like I just posted my May favorites video. You guys, my hair, yes, honey. So it's bigger than usual today because I actually blow dried my hair for the first time in like two years. I was on a pretty steady streak of no heat, but I had decided to go ahead and blow dry my hair to make it a little bit easier to execute some cornrows that I had done. So it was basically just the two cornrows going back. So what you guys see here is kind of like an unintentional braid out because I wasn't really trying to have a style out of it. It was really just me blow drying my hair so that I could easily do the cornrows. So I took the cornrows out, you guys know me. <laughs> Can't leave them in too long and they started getting frizzy and ugly so I was like, mm, taking these out. So when I took them out, this is what I was left with and I was like, hey, style, it's a look. So that's what this is. When I prepare my hair tonight for bed, I'm probably going to add some product and do something a little more intentional, maybe do some flat twists. So as we get started with the favors, let's talk about my nails really quick because I did polish them. And I wanted to go with a traditional cherry red color. I am wearing my Ella and Mila Dream Nail Polish in the color Unwrap Me. I've talked about Ella and Mila before in my favorites. It's a really good nail polish brand and it's super good quality. This particular formula though, for this particular color, I must say it's a little watery. So you do need to know that going into it. I found with um, more watery formula colors, you have to have like a really, really steady hand. Like it's a lot less forgiving than some of the thicker ones. So that's all I would say about this. And you guys, listen, okay. I went on a run yesterday outside. It was really, really sunny, but I just, for some reason, I really wanted to go for a run and I was out there for like 30 minutes in the direct sunlight. I had on my sunblock, but still y'all, I have a tan. So I say that to say this, excuse my foundation shade is probably not matching that great. I tried to blend some colors to get it to warm up a little bit more. So if it's not exactly matching, cut me some slack this time, okay? I haven't really um, replenished my summer skin tone um, foundation shades yet. So I'm just kind of, you know, playing around with different colors that I already had. So if it's not matching, you know, cut me some slack. Also for nails, um, and then we'll move on, I wanted to share some of the Sally Hansen nail products that I didn't get to share in my last video. I don't know how I missed it, but there were a couple more that I wanted to show you guys. This first one is um, the Color Therapy High Gloss Top Coat. I like to put this on on the finish with my nails because it gives it that really glassy kind of look. The other one is this Color Therapy Nail Cuticle Serum. I love this to treat the cuticles because obviously you have to treat your cuticles. A healthy cuticle makes for a really nice manicure. But I like using the serums over the oils because with the serums, it's not oily, right? So you could actually apply this to your cuticle before you apply your nail color. You can't do that with the oils. And it just leaves your nail bed looking really, really healthy and treated without that over the top oily look to it. These Sally Hansen Beautifiers nail treatments are really good, you guys. I would highly recommend you give them a try. They sent me a bunch of these colors and treatments in a PR package and wasn't expecting a whole lot out of them, but I've been using them and I've really been loving them, especially in conjunction with some of the other nail treatment products that I already have. You guys, this favorites is going to include a lot of edibles, so let's deal with beauty first and then we'll move on. So speaking of nails, I just wanted to share a product that I've been using for my pedicures or a part of the process of my pedicures and that's this Vaseline brand Cracked Heel Rescue Foot Cream. This is the clinical care line. You guys know how I am about my moisturized skin, okay, pretty much from the neck down. I am a Sahara Desert, okay? You guys know this. <laughs> I am actually a Vaseline partner as well. I do work with the brand on a lot of different you know, campaigns and initiatives, but this is obviously not a sponsored moment. This is just one of the products that I've loved and I've had it for a while and I've kind of used quite a bit of it, but I like to use this on my feet right before bed, right? So I'll slather my clean foot, you know, with this product from the heel to the toes, honey. Then I'll put on like this really fluffy kind of footy type of sock over it just to really 
seal in the moisture and to kind of force my foot to just take it all in and then it's kind of an overnight treatment for myself and then when I wake up the next morning I can remove the sock and I have like these really super soft feet this is more of my DIY pedicure routine it really makes my feet feel like they've soaked for hours like in a bucket of nice you know therapeutic water so in order to get that effect I really do like using this and you guys can get this at your local Target or Walmart or wherever I wanted to tell you guys about a gel that I used on my hair for my cornrow braids the other day and that's this got to be glued. This is the Invincible Styling Gel, you guys. Now this does dry down with a lot of hold. Don't get it twisted. This is definitely a got to be glued product, so you're going to have that. But it allows you that flexibility in the beginning to really set your hair before it starts to kind of really get hard. So you have time to, you know, create that style that you're looking for. So I like to use this on my edges and I like to use it on slicking down those hairs, you know, on the surface. And then I put my scarf on and then I do my makeup and then when I take my scarf off, my hair is ready to go and it will last through humidity, moisture, everything. So I really, really love using this stuff to set my braids. And it's just a loose, clear formula that's easy to manipulate once you have it on your hair. And I wanted to share the eyeliner that I used today on my wing liner. You guys, I had run out of my Stila pencil that I normally use and then before that I was really hooked on the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner. I was in Target the other day and I wanted to give Maybelline a try just to kind of see, you know. And you guys, I am here for it. I don't know, this might be my new one. This went on like butter. I love the soft applicator brush. Really feeling this one. So definitely as a cheaper alternative for you girls, I would highly recommend you try this Maybelline New York one. It's called the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. And I believe that this color is pitch black. It's perfect, I love it. You guys, the brush tip is really precise and soft. I was really pleased with the quality and performance of this eyeliner. So I don't know, I might be switching to this one. I mean, it's a whole lot cheaper. And if it's gonna work the same, um, might as well save some coins. Okay, and one more kind of self-care product, speaking of pedicures and manicures, I wanted to share a candle that I bought the other day and have been trying out. And I am loving it, you guys. This candle puts me in such a nice, calm mood. And it's just funny that the name of it is Calm. And I picked this up from Hobby Lobby called Calm Sandalwood and Incense. And it's with sandalwood, vanilla, earthy amber, and patchouli mist. And it's in number six, whatever that means. You guys, this candle smells so nice. It has like a really masculine kind of cologne scent to it, which are the ones I love for some reason. And it's got that smoky scent, but it's not overpowering. It's really like, it kind of reminds you of like an incense, or if you were like burning some really nice smelling wood. I have had it bedside for like reading and just moments of unwind from a long day, um, gather my thoughts, that kind of thing. This has really been helping me with kind of capturing that zen moment for myself. So I really, really love this. Okay, now let's move into the kitchen, all right? I wanted to share with you all a coffee that I try and it's so, so good. I have a Keurig, so I use the K-Cups for my morning coffees. And so this is a donut shop coffee, but this one is in the flavor coconut mocha. You guys, <laughs> so freaking good. Let me show you guys what the K-Cup looks like. So this is the little K-Cup, you guys. I am telling you, this is just the most delicious. I did not expect such deliciousness just from something with coconut and mocha flavoring. It's so nice, you guys. I mean, the coconut just gives you that um, that nutty kind of taste, but then that mocha with that chocolate finish, it's so, so good. And let me show you guys the creamer that I've been using to flavor my coffees. You guys, remember when I was always using my almond milk creamers? The only thing with the almond milk creamers is that because it's a nut milk, it has an oily quality, and you guys, I just can't get past that when it comes to blending it into my coffee. I feel like it always separates from the coffee and just seeing those little particles just separating, it just does something to me as far as being able to enjoy my coffee fully because I just can't get past the visual impact of that. So I haven't been really feeling the almond milk creamers lately, you guys, and I'm so glad I found out about oat milk creamers. You guys, this changed everything. This is all I want now. If I can't find this, I'll settle for the almond milk creamer because either way, I'm not gonna use a dairy creamer like this just out of the question. But this is, this is the MVP, you guys. This is the GOAT. 
This is a Nestle Coffee Mate product, natural bliss oat milk creamer, all natural plant-based, non-GMO ingredients, and only 25 calories per serving. The one that I get is the vanilla flavoring, but there's also caramel, I think, and a couple of others. It doesn't even matter. All of them are great for me. I like coconut milk, but that one gives me uh, fat vibes. Like, it's really chunky, and it's, it's fattening. I mean, coconut milk is just naturally really fattening. So I don't mind it. That's actually another one that I'll go for, but this is just so much better, you guys. The texture is just like, it's so perfect. It was just made for coffee. It blends right into my coffee. It has such great flavor, you guys. I never thought oat milk could be so good. So I've been loving this for my coffee lately. I'm kind of obsessed. And then last but not least for kitchen items is something that I love for my daughter, Anne. And it's these Dr. Prager's Purely Sensible Foods. It's a plant protein chicken strip. <laughs> my daughter really enjoys little strips of crunchy meats. Um, and so chicken nuggets and things like that are her favorite, but in an attempt lately to try and get her to eat more vegetables because she really does not enjoy vegetables. The only thing she likes in the vegetable category is raw carrots. She'll eat raw carrots all day long. So we definitely give her lots of those, but she won't eat like her peas and things like that. She won't eat, you know, her broccoli and all that. I mean, sometimes she will, but not consistently enough for us, right? She loves fruit and I give her lots of fruit, but that's a lot of sugar too. So I try to, you know, push a little bit more of the veggies and using, you know, products like this will help us to do that without her even knowing about it. And there are tons of, you know, items like this, you know, in the kids section, all you have to do is take a peek and you'll see that there are a lot of different products that sneak vegetables into some of the entrees and things like that. So this is not the only one, but I'm mentioning the Dr. Prager's because I love their offerings. They also have little tater tots that are full of veggies. And the ones that she actually loves the most are the ones that are filled with broccoli and spinach. So I give her those too, because she just thinks she's eating tater tots when it's actually a full serving of vegetables green leafy vegetables at that. So this is one of the ones that I love to give her and I love it because it's soy free. It's made with avocado oil and each serving has two different types of veggies. It's 14 grams of pure plant protein, it's gluten free and it is just simply delicious and it's easy to cook. I pop these right into my air fryer foodie ninja thing and these are ready in about nine minutes. She loves them, I can send her to school with these. So it is a win-win, honey. So for all of you autism moms out there or not, um, who struggle with getting your kids to eat different things, I would highly recommend giving Dr. Prager's products a try because they are awesome and so far, Ann loves all of them. All right, now let's go ahead and move into my wine of the month. Actually don't have any wine to share this time. All of the wines that I've tried so far, I'm actually still consuming them. So that's all this at my bar right now are the wines that I've already talked about, so nothing new, but I did want to share a beer. And in my last favorites, I actually discussed my all-time favorite barrel-aged stout by Goose Island. So I do have a beer I wanna share that doesn't hold a candle to the Goose Island Bourbon County, but it gets kinda close. A little close. For those of you who just kind of want to ease your way into it or kind of get to know, you know, barrel aged stout beers, and that is this New Holland Brewing Dragon's Milk. I've actually gone to this brewery before in Holland, Michigan, and it was a really cool experience, you guys. This was my favorite beer for a very long time, and then when I got introduced to the Bourbon County, it was like, you know, it kind of took over. But I still enjoy my Dragon's Milk, you guys. This is a really good barrel aged stout beer. They have different variations of this beer, right? I feel like I remember trying a pumpkin one before, and then there was one with a little bit of vanilla. So those are really, really good, but this is the original. This is just the basic barrel aged stout, and it definitely still has sweet notes to it. It's not a sweet beer, but it definitely has like sweet notes on the finish. It's kind of smoky. It's a really powerful kind of beer. I mean, obviously it has 11% ABV, so it's kind of strong. You could also describe it as thick and rich, so it can be enjoyed during winter months as well. That's why I really love barrel aged stouts because they're just so fluid. I mean, you can really just enjoy one whenever you want. There's always an appropriate moment for a barrel aged stout, so I would highly recommend Dragon's Milk because this is a brand that you can find in most grocery stores. Just go in the craft beer section and you'll find it there. Stores that don't have craft beer sections, you might not find Dragon's Milk there uh, because I think New Holland is considered a microbrewery, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of times with microbreweries, I mean, they're just basically breweries that have minimal distribution. I mean, they're not gonna be as mainstream as like a Miller 
cores or something like that. So you have to really look, but if you have a craftier shop in your neighborhood, like a Benny's or something like that, they're sure to have Dragon's Milk, so definitely check it out. So that is it for today's favorites video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging with me for a little bit. Definitely stay tuned for more videos, you guys. I have a ton of videos coming, okay? I've been revamping different areas of my home. I've been doing a lot of stuff, so I got videos on the way. So definitely stay tuned for more, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.